This is Wonder Kids, a podcast where you ask the big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Rose, and I've been thinking a lot about what it would be like to live underwater because of some questions sent in by Ivy and Fletcher. Hi, my name is Ivy. I was wondering why fish have gills. Hi, my name is Fletcher, and I was wondering... Why do we have hair on our arms? And to answer these questions, Jay joins us. Hi, Ivy. Thank you so much for your question. I love it. Well, the simple answer to your question is gills help fish breathe underwater. Like humans, fish need oxygen to survive. But while we get our oxygen from the air, fish need to get their oxygen from water. So instead of lungs, fish have gills. Water is a lot heavier than air and has less oxygen in it, so gills need to be different to our lungs. When humans breathe, air goes in and out through our mouth or nose. When fish breathe, water flows in one direction through the mouth, through the gills, and exit out through the gill slits. Gills have a number of comb-like structures called gill filaments coming out of it. Each gill filament has lots of little branches of blood vessels which absorb the oxygen in the water flowing in from the fish's mouth. This oxygen then travels around the body. Bring your hand out in front of you and wiggle your fingers for a moment. We're going to pretend these are gill filaments. Now imagine each of the fingers have branches coming off it. Then those branches have more branches coming off it. Are your fingers starting to look a little bit like a tree? Great, that's what fish gills look like if you look at them really closely. So, because fish live underwater, they require different body structures to help them thrive and survive. Thanks again for your question, Ivy. Our next question comes from Fletcher. I was wondering, why do we have hair on our arms? Thanks for the question, Fletcher. It's interesting to look at why humans are the way they are, because it links back to Ivy's question on gills. Different body structures help different organisms survive in their specific environment. Scientists have identified a couple of reasons for arm hair, such as offering protection from the sun and helping to maintain body temperature. We call this thermoregulation. Human beings like their body temperature to stay within a specific temperature range of around 37 degrees Celsius. When our body temperature gets too high or too low, the body needs to find a way to bring it back to a healthy range. This is where our arm hair comes into play. Imagine you're really, really cold. What does your arm hair do? It stands on edge and we get goosebumps. When we get goosebumps, the small muscles around the hair tighten, which raises the hair. This traps a layer of heat close to the body to keep us warm. This is a lot more effective in furry animals, like the chimpanzee, who have longer and thicker body hair. Nowadays, we don't rely on our body hair to protect us from the environment as much as we used to. Instead, we use clothes and other forms of technology to warm us up or cool us down. Thanks for the great question, Fletcher. Thanks for that answer, Jay. So, fish have gills so they can absorb oxygen from water, and humans have hair on their arms to keep us warm and protect us from the sun. We learned a new word today, thermoregulation. This is when your body reacts to being too cold or too warm and does something to get it back to a comfortable temperature. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder. Wonder.